Welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. We are in the bazaar, and we are heading over to guns, guns, the chick flicks oh, here. Oh, I've that always wanted one of these. By to give her the movie reels that she wanted. Ah, oh, our clown slaying knights in shining armor. You honor us by visiting our little theater. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, we've got some movie reels from the bunker, but they look pretty damaged. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Damn, this looks pretty bad. Okay. Can I still use them? Where there's a will, there's a way. Just stand over there and look cute while I check this out. <laughs> she holds the film reels to the light, and I squeeze shut tongue poking from the corner of her mouth. What's the verdict? Please don't say you need us to find more. Any chance you could hurry this up? We've got places to be. What's the verdict? Well, I won't lie. They aren't exactly what I was hoping for. But we can salvage this. So here's what I'm thinking. The film is falling apart, and I can't get a full show out of any of them. But I'm seeing bits and pieces that we could totally use with a bit of imagination. Okay. Let's examine the reels together, and we'll come up with a story worthy of chicks flicks. Here, look at these. Do you see a good main character? She holds some decaying film clips up to the light. We see a man running from a boulder. He has a hat and a whip. Well, that's a Deanna Jones, obviously. We see two cops, one older with a mustache, the other with a glorious mullet. That's lethal weapon. <laughs> we see a barefoot man in a tank top sneaking through an office building. And that's uh, Die Hard. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do Indiana Jones. Perfect start. Then a sultry priestess pulls him aside and ties him up with the whip. Yes, a story of a forbidden love between two people so different, yet irresistibly attracted to one another. <laughs> That's a great setup, but we need to decide where it takes place. Here, look over these reels. All right. A car racing down a road, lightning strikes, and the car accelerates to ludicrous speed. Back to the future. There's a wooden ship, a pirate ship, hidden in a cavern, holding treasure. The Goonies? Probably? I'm thinking the Goonies. Uh, this looks like some kind of military flight academy. Um, Top Gun? Possibly? Uh, let's do... The Goonies. Oh, I see. Pirates. That's great. Okay, so our main character escapes with the treasure and sets himself up as a body pirate king who conquers a rival armada by ensuring they're too sexed up to complain. Wow, this is going places. Now, for the pièce de résistance, my lovelies. Some of these old reels still have semi-legible labels. Give it your best shot. Sex me up a title. Okay. Uh, romancing the bone, fuck loose, or goat thrusters. I've had enough of goat interaction, I'd say, even though we have a goat with us. Uh, fuck loose, or romancing the bone. I'm thinking she'll like the middle one most, but I'm gonna go with romancing the bone. Hmm, poetic, beautiful, seductive. Just the way your Adelon likes it. Cool. Oh, I see you have some beauties of your own with you. What do you think? Could one of your gorgeous friends star in our premiere? Wouldn't be long, I promise. Okay. How long would you need our companion for? What do you think, Jody? What about Lucy? <laughs> Signs right up. You're Ali Kwan. No, thanks. Let's just call it done. I'm thinking Quan would enjoy it. Uh, how long would you need our companion oh, for? Just for a hot minute, darling. They'll be right back with you. Girl Scouts honor. 
All right. Signs right up your alley, Quan. I've been a fan of your work for many years, Eidolon. It would be an honor. Oh, Marshal Quan, it'll be our pleasure. Just don't go stealing the spotlight from any of my boys, okay? A job well done, you. Okay, everyone, places. Our audience awaits. What's that? A script? <laughs> Darling, we don't need those. Okay. Ladies, what? gents, that was everything a simple man could ever dream of. <laughs> I knew we'd love it. Now, don't you think your 80 would forget your dues? You've been such a big help, Sugar Pies. So here's your reward. Come talk to me later to see how we got on, okay? Okay. Go ahead, take a picture. It'll last longer. <laughs> All right, we got some money and the guitar ornament ornament for the car. That weird guy in the fountain? He's staring at us again. Don't make eye contact. Maybe he'll go away. But the fountain? What fountain? Where's the fountain? I don't see the fountain. Where's the fountain? Never mind. The monster army has been around for a while. Check out shop Flab's next. always going on about the olden days. Well, when you're a man as sexy as I am, you always gotta fight off the lady. Those boots. <laughs> you get that? These old things, I got them I for a steal at Talbot's tannery. Well, let's have a look at our reputation because the monster army now loves us, and I don't want to screw that up. So I'm gonna tell Flab about Charlie. Because I, I mean, Charlie is, is is one guy. The Monster Army is the Monster Army. So I'm gonna tell Flab about Charlie. Hey, if you're into weird shit, check out Quark's museum. Ah, the celebrated heroes of the bazaar, Fale, Champagne. <laughs> Oh, right. I don't have a valet. <laughs> uh, we've got some news you might be interested in. Uh, we're here to talk about a man named Randy Get. Okay. Randy, the mechanic, yes. He is a genius. So young, but already the cars of the world, they bow to him like he is a king. But tell me. Why do you ask about our young savant? Uh, we wanted to let you know he's working for the Rangers now. Randy might have found employment elsewhere. Uh, Randy might have found, found employment elsewhere. Is it with you, Rangers? Come, we are friends here. You needn't be afraid of being honest with me. I will never hold your candor against you. Randy's lack of respect, on the other hand, tell him that if he wishes to work in the bazaar again, he will need to ask for an audience with me. I am giving him another chance because he is young and foolish. But even my patience is limited. Okay. So, and the Monster Army, I mean, they seem like pretty nice guys. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to tell him the news. Continue. Uh, what would, would it be worth for you to learn of someone planning a hostile takeover? Charlie knows and his cartel are planning to oust you and take over the bazaar. Actually, let's get back to this later. What would it be worth for you? Money, of course. <laughs> you know me as a generous man. Your loyalty will be well compensated. Okay. Uh, Charlie Nones and his cartel are planning to oust you and take over the bazaar. Charlie! Yes, I know of him. The tongue of a jester, but will not hesitate to kill for his boss. Oust here can only mean to kill us all. I thank you for showing this loyalty to the bazaar. 
Here is a small sum, but this is only a start. Solve this problem for us. Kill Charlie, and a great reward will be yours. Okay. Uh, all right. And we'll be back. Be bizarre. We'll be waiting. Let's see. Um, mission log. Very hostile takeover. Uh, we told Flav about the cartel plan and he offered us a reward if we side with him instead. He wants us to eliminate the cartel. An old car dealership north of the Bizarre near the collapsed parking garage. Okay. So I guess we need to do that. Let's first take a look at our people though. Do we have any good mutations? No. Right, so we can go to the doctor and get patched up. Dr. Coldcut can cure what ails ya. Ah, you again. What is it? Uh, could you patch us up? For the heroes of the bazaar. Well, this one's on the house. Just this one stuff. Oh, nice. Uh, do you sell any medical supplies? Ah, the self-medicating sort. Sure, take a look. We have 1,107. Let's sell all our junk. Now we have almost 3,000. Nice. All right, so we want... Doesn't have any... We could do with some antidote. Let's buy five of those. Crystal clears. Don't need it. If you suit your kit. I wish it would tell me how many I have of them. Uh, so, suit your kit. We have ten. Uh, we have two of those. Injury kits we could do with some of. Uh, let's buy eight of those. So there we have ten. Let's buy some of these as well. They're pretty expensive though. Uh, so let's just buy two. I wish he had some actual healing stuff. Where's first aid seven? Mm, it's not that expensive. Let's buy it. See what that is. Pigtail. He doesn't have any hypos or um, medic packs, though, which kind of sucks. But okay. Uh, let's see. Do we need some ammo? We do. We need some ammo. Uh, let's see, ammunition. Uh, we found an antique. It sold at auction for eighty dollars. Nice. It sold at auction for seven hundred and twenty dollars. Woo! We're making a lot of money, man. That is nice. A nine millimeter ammo spikes. We need. We need some seven sixty two ammo. All right, so that's down here at Piscatelli's. Hello again, strangers. Hello. Certainly. All right, seven six two ammo. We'll buy all of it. We'll buy your five fifty six ammo as well. We'll buy, I think, a little bit of 50 cal ammo. Not that much. Uh, maybe 50. We'll buy some spikes. Let's buy 70 of those. That should be fine. Um, 9 millimeter ammo we have plenty of. 38 ammo. Not so much. Um, Let's buy 30 of that. 
cells, we need all of them. Okay. What are these? Broach rifle barrel. And extra full choke, range plus two meters. That's actually quite nice. Or a shotgun, a flamethrower. Miss on cannon. What the hell is that? Uh, it requires energy cells. It's a rocket. Okay. I think we have what we need. Up guns sanctified with blood. Blood. Let's quickly God. take a look here because you uh, modify weapon. Yeah, so we have this uh, heavy weights, and we'll use that as well. Uh, this kit includes everything you need to make a really weapon more pointy and scary. 50% chance to apply bleeding. And toxin cell. Once you fix the cell, it delivers a slow drip of toxins onto the weapon. Okay, so we'll... You know what? Cancel. Yes. Uh, Lucia, uh, let's see, did you get a level up here? You did, so let's do that first. Um, your lockpicking is maxed. Hmm. So, she has barter, so we don't need that. Um, he has kiss ass. Explosives, mechanics, big guns, nerd stuff. Melee combat, first aid. She has weird science. So I guess it's really toaster repair that we need, or survival. We could start putting points into survival. Or just get some more automatic weapons it's all about momentum keep pushing forward and it'll punch right through what does that do hmm. if you have more than five spaces your next submachine gun attack costs no action points I don't really use submachine guns I don't really use submachine guns, but it does give better hit chances, which I kind of like as well. All right, we'll do that. And uh, automatic weapons, coordination, awareness, speed. Hmm. I think we'll go awareness. And then for perks. I don't think I really want to take anything right now. I mean, quick reflexes is, is kind of nice. I think we'll save it. I think we'll save it. And then I wanted to give Lucia this thing just for a little bit. She'll get the barter stuff back, but and that takes her weapon modding to eight. That's not enough, is it? For what I wanted to do. I'll modify weapon. No, because we need modding 10. Alright, then we'll just stick these on for now. Uh, 
and you can have the monocle back. All right, let's go deal with Charlie, I guess. The bazaar is a marketplace of the expensive, the dangerous, and the weird. Built into a pre-war mall that's buried under decades of snow. All right, let's go deal with Charlie, shall we? So, if we take a look at the map. Parking garage. Dentist. Greenhouse. Smuggler's camp. I guess we're going this way, that's for sure. Oops. Are there... Uh, are there robots? Doesn't look like it. To the north. So is it up this way? Can't be. I don't think it's up this way. I don't know though. Uh, what does it? What did it say? Uh, it was our near the collapsed parking garage. Okay, so. The collapsed parking garage is down here, right? Parking garage, yeah. All right. So let's get down here. Is he up here? Yeah, he's probably in here. Yeah, because this was boarded up before, right? Let's do a quick save. And we're going to take care of Charlie in the next one, guys, because it's going to take too long to take care of him in this one, I think. We'll go way over time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.